Hello and welcome to the spoken tutorial on lists in HTML. In this tutorial, we will learn how to create lists in HTML and the types of lists in HTML. To practice this tutorial, you should know to use any VCV or text editor and a web browser. If not, then go through gedit text editor and Firefox tutorials on this website. To record this tutorial, I am using Ubuntu Linux 16.04 operating system, HTML5, gedit text editor and Firefox web browser. However, you may use any other editor or browser of your choice. The files used in this tutorial are available in the code files link on this tutorial page. Please download and extract them. In HTML, lists helps us to group the related content together, create structured navigations like menu bars. In HTML, there are three different types of lists. Unordered list, ordered list, definition or description list. All these types have a start and an end tag. This is how the syntax of a list will look like. Here. Li denotes list item. Type of the list and the list item tags have a start and an end tag. Unordered list will list the contents in the form of bulleted points without any obvious sequential order. Whereas ordered list will list the contents in a numbered sequence, can sequence the list in alphabets and Roman numerals also. Let us open our file myfirstpage.html which we created earlier. The same is available in the code files link. Here we have three different types of links. Let us use these to create our lists. Pause the tutorial and modify your code as shown. Here I have started and ended with ul. This indicates that I am creating an unordered list. Each list item is written between a separate li start and end tag. Save the file. Switch to the folder where the file is saved. Right click on the file name and open in the web browser. Here in the output we can see that all the three links are now listed in bullet points. I don't want this to be in a rounded bullet point. Instead I want it in some other shape say square. We can do this with the help of CSS. We can use CSS and style to modify how the unordered list should be displayed. We have to specify the style inside the start tag. This is the syntax. The unordered list styles are disk, circle, square, none. Switch to the editor window and try this. Inside the UL start tag, type as shown here. Save the file. Switch to the browser and refresh the page. Instead of the rounded bullet points, we see square bullet points. Similarly, we can change the unordered list styles to show other shapes for the bullets. Next, we will learn how to create an ordered list. Switch to the editor window. Here, I will make a very small change. Instead of UL, I will type OL in the start and end tags. Also, I will remove the style attribute inside the start tag. Save the file. Switch to the browser and refresh the page. Now, the links are listed in a numbered sequence. There are several types in which you may display the ordered list using the type attribute. They are numbers, uppercase letters, lowercase letters, Roman numerals in uppercase, Roman numerals in lowercase. Let us try these. Switch back to the editor window. Inside the OL start tag, let me add the following. Type equal to within double quotes A. Save the file. 
Switch to the browser and refresh the page. Note that now the links are in lowercase letter sequence. Next, we will learn the definition or description list. Description list is not like the other two lists. It will display the list in the form of name value pair. That means it will display the line item without prefixing it with a bullet or a number. Each list item will have a name and a value to it. Instead of li tag, we have to use dt and dd tags. dt refers to the term or the name. dd refers to the term definition or the value. Both dt and dd have a start and an end tag. Must have at least one term and a value assigned to it. We can have multiple values for a single term. The way to write description list is shown here. Let us try this. Switch to the editor window. After the ordered list, type the following piece of code as shown here. Save the file. Switch to the browser and refresh the page. Observe the change. We can also have a list inside a list. This is called a nested list. Both the lists need not be the same. For example, both need not be ordered or unordered or descriptive. Here is an example of a nested list. Observe the format in which the list is arranged. Let us look at the code for this example. Pause the video and try this on your own. This brings us to the end of this tutorial. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we have learned about unordered list, ordered list, description list, list styles and types, and nested list in HTML. As an assignment, open the file myhomepage.html which you have created earlier. Create a list as shown. The video at the following link summarizes the spoken tutorial project. Please download and watch it. The Spoken Tutorial Project team conducts workshops and gives certificates. For more details, please write to us. Please post your timed queries in this forum. Spoken Tutorial Project is funded by NME ICT, MHRD, Government of India. More information on this mission is available at this link. This is Praveen from IIT Bombay signing off. Thanks for watching.